Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here at the couch with our good friend Michael Lemo is back again from Lemo the band <laughs> on Instagram at Lemo the band. Exactly. You were just doing some nasty, nasty stuff on this '64 Jazz Master that was blowing our minds. Why don't you do a little bit more of that and let's hear what you got? Check this out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, real quick. Pan down to his pedal board really quick and check this out. Yeah, oh. no pedals. <laughs> That's funny. We, just a hot rod to Ville. All the EQs at noon. I guess a little more than a little bit of reverb. Just a lot <laughs> yeah, of yeah, for that That's one. That's just yeah. what you can do manipulating guitar, and you're one of the best at doing that. How did you come into that? When did you start figuring all this stuff out? How do you write? Do you just uh, play around until you find something cool? Or? Well, uh, this tuning has served me a lot. It's um, yeah. Well, how are how is this tune right now? Because I saw the bass sings. Yeah, so it's like low. an open G, pretty much. It's a, a D G D G. But here's the trick: the B goes to a G too. So you got two G's in a row, and then another D, and uh, and then this whole thing came by just on. Ever since I started playing the Jazz Master, it seriously changed my whole approach on guitar. And um, there's just certain things. I can do with this guitar that I can't do with others. I love the bar, but you know, once I started doing this, I had this idea of like electronic music, kind of like droney stuff, like. And actually, if you put on like high gain too, like it just screams. It's just yeah. like scary sounds, and and uh, and then the other stuff was pretty much a lot of it's like Van Halen kind of operating with this hand, so you can just pull off some hammer-ons, just going. He'll do like little guitars and just a. Uh... Just keep it. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's it's really been the jazz master that kind of opened me up to that because I wasn't doing that on can't do it on track. Yeah. And that's what I was playing before. And in terms of pitch and tonality, <clears throat> will intonation change the fundamental tone that's coming back here, or how do you? Uh... It's funny because I my my jazz master has a mastery on it, and I was no you know. Sometimes these just slip a little bit, but I've noticed that, that that's kind of the note that it has. That's just yeah, a, the I've that tried comes a off of that. fair amount of jazz masters, and um, I don't know, it just kind of has this weird. I always view these as like sound effects guitars. Like, you can just make like just crazy noise. And uh, I don't know, it just made me think outside of the box. Um, and like I said, the, the back bridge, I use it for everything. Like, you can do. Uh, Oh, it's a different tuning, but you know you can start off tunes. Just I turn up the reverb on it because you get the. 
but you can actually hit chords with it too, like. It's kind of hard to hear, but. Use everything on your instrument, kids. Yeah, it use everything. Doesn't just have to come from a pedal to be creative and do something soundscapey. Very cool stuff. Michael Lemo, band's called Lemo. Lemo the band on Instagram. Go check it out. One of the definitely the most creative players that comes in here. We don't see stuff like this every day. It's always good to see you, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate it.